Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Deborah, and today we're going to talk about the things that my last two fiancés did that made me cry or made me question some things going on. The first one <clears throat> had just inherited his house from his mother and father, and um, when he would go at work, I would clean the whole house. And um, I put some his linens and his work clothes, I, of course I did it separate, in the wash machine. And when he came home and I told him everything was neatly folded, the bed was dressed, he cussed me so bad that I went into the bathroom and cried like a baby. And I go, what the hell is wrong with him? Most men would love to have a woman do their laundry. Well, he told me a couple months later that his septic tank was only approved for one person. That how in the hell is he ever going to, you know, do his laundry? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he does it all in one load once a week. But when you have a woman in the house, you're going to have to do laundry more than once a week. Okay. But I thought that was just so bizarre. As you know, I've been sick. I may still sneeze. <laughs> It was so bizarre that he would get that angry. You know, <clears throat> some of you men have so much high testosterone that um, you don't know how to handle it. And it scares us women. So whenever you're angry at us, for whatever reason, you have a right to be angry. Sit down and talk to us on an even tone without malice. Uh, and we will get it. But there's no reason to scream and cuss at us, okay? Now, the next guy that I was engaged to, it was like 50 degrees in the house. And I like it cold. Don't get me wrong. Right now, I am sweating bullets. I mean, really. Oh, my God. I'm sweating bullets here. Uh, the weather in Virginia is always fickle in November. You know, it could be 80 degrees one day and, and frost the next. Okay, so this guy... I was telling him I was freezing. I was like sitting on this couch with two blankets and I had on one of those rabbit, I don't know what you talk, uh, the, the onesies that cover your feet and everything that you have to take completely off to use the bathroom. I mean, I was snug, uh, snuggling warm, but I still was freezing and shivering. So I got up when he went to work and I put it on, I think it was 68 and when he came home, he cussed me so bad that I actually jumped and I started crying. So again, that testosterone is going to get you guys. So he proceeded to tell me that his unit was uh, over expiration date and that it could blow any minute. That's not my fault, people. I did not know that he had an old unit. He said, if you keep adjusting the thermostat, it uh, may cause the whole thing to stop working. Okay, I get that. I respect other people's homes. Believe me, I really do. But there's no reason to scream and cuss. This is what I try to tell you girls, is if uh, you are in the beginning stages of dating a guy and he's losing his temper, and he's flying off the handle like that. That is a big, big red flag. The first guy I talked about that had the messed up septic sewer tank, uh, we were outside once at my house and I told him I didn't wanna go stay with him for a couple of days because my ex-husband had wrote in the divorce decree that I can't shack up with anybody until the divorce was final, but yet he had had two or three different women living with him. You know, this is so sexist, oh my God. But so I just didn't want to spend two or three nights with this guy. So he got so angry that he slammed my uh, hood down, my trunk or whatever it was, to the point where it scared me. And I even called him out on that. I go, what is wrong with you? Why do you get so mad? So um, this is a, just a warning out there to you guys and to you women. Uh, be very careful of this. Um, yeah. 
some I know some some guys have to take extra testosterone, but those two guys I was engaged to, boy, they didn't need it. Believe me.